Hi, this is James Abercrombie. I'm a solutions engineer here at Acronis. I'm here to show you how to set up Google Cloud as a backup destination. First thing I'd like to show you is on the bottom left, you'll see a settings cogwheel. Under the settings cogwheel, you'll see a local list of destinations. Now, it's not really local, but it's a list of available storage locations that you can utilize for your cloud target, whether it be for backup, for file sync and share, or whether it be for disaster recovery. Now, you'll see that Google Cloud has two options, Montreal and the Dallas, Oregon. That means when we create a partner or a customer, we have the option to offer this storage to them. A partner is somebody who's reselling this storage. A customer is somebody who's consuming this storage. Either way, when you create your partner, you enable which service, which edition they would like to consume, and then you select what storage you would like to associate with each one of those editions. Now, right here, you'll see that all storages are available. Well, we don't want to offer all storages. We only want to offer Google Cloud. So we go through and deselect everything except for Google. When we move forward, when we provision a customer under this partner, we'll only have the option for that Google storage. As I'll show you here, when we create the customer, you have the option to put them into trial or into production. Trial means 30 days free. From there, you select the same services. You know, what type of addition would they like to utilize? What type of quotas would they like to impose? And then down at the bottom where location is, they can drop down and select Google Cloud. From there, they can select the Dalles or Montreal. They can limit it. If they want to set a soft limit or a hard limit, maybe they want to set a 500 limit that says, hey, once we hit 500 gigs in the cloud, we want to send out a nice little letter that says, hey, we've hit 500, but maybe we want to cap it at 750. So at which point we have the ability to go in and change what our quotas are and what the needs are. From here, you click next, type in your admin at email.com, and that gives you the ability to actually create a unique login. Get rid of the at email domain, right? Create admin hyphen customer initial, first initial, last initial. And then you can utilize the same email over and over again, something like report at msp.com manage at msp.com that allows that single email to create multiple customer or multiple partner clients so that you can go through and manage multiple tenants easily.